with the face you're making is not helpful for him. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're going, Ew, Oh, gross. be insecure about your body. And you're like, Bleh. No, Bleh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, He's like, no, JT, I love you. I just hate fat bodies. <laughs> fat bodies disgust me. It's not you. You're great. I'm happy you're here. But the body that fills that chair does make me sick to my core. So, uh, this is bad. 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 to drag out whores. No. None of my friends will take me hunting or fishing because I'm annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. loud. And taking me to the woods sounds like a nightmare for them. I actually wouldn't even take you to the woods and I don't even hunt. I get it. <laughs> I yeah. don't. No hate for that. That's like being trapped in an airplane with me for 10 hours. But you hours. do look like you'd be good at it. I would think I thought that's what that's Visually, what you go, yeah, he hunts. I know. What's going on with the beard? If you shave it, do you, is there a chin? No. No, no chin. Is, is it bad? Yeah. I've bad a beard since I was like 15. Just because my body knew, like, let's do something about this. Really? Mm -hmm. Hide half of your face? Yeah. It's the bad half. This is the good section of me, if that puts it into perspective. Okay, I like that. <laughs> what? How? How much is this? How much is this? Is this a lot? Okay. No, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm seeing what's if you going pay on. Your cards, right? I'm seeing. I'm seeing what's going on. You got a weak chin, then? Yeah, it's bad. I most. It's less of a weak chin and more of a heavy gullet. Yeah. You know, this uh. thing is. Most there's not a single direction or way I can move it where you don't see like a full on, like pouch. You know. Uh huh. Sometimes that's just life, though. Yeah. A really good barber makes it all look even, as if I grow out, like, from a handsome face. Oh, that's, you have a handsome face. It is, it is a good beard. beard. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I haven't seen without, so I can't answer otherwise. Yeah. I would never let you. Never let really? you. Really? Yeah, I don't shave it. I never do. It looks weird. It looks bad. So the smoker, that's something you're really excited about? Yeah. And are you getting it because it makes you feel more like a man? Yeah, and what does masculinity mean to you? Smoking meat, hunting motorcycles the type of man you see on tv if you google manly man yeah uh -huh. one of those guys you kind of just pick one of those guys but you're also kind of gay <laughs> you sound like everyone i went to high school with <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i think i think that the toughest thing a man can do is have is sex with another, another man to dominate him physically yeah absolutely the yeah. second toughest thing Smoke meats in your backyard on the weekend. <laughs> put a put a put a rack of wings on that bad boy and get something toasty out the oven. Yeah, especially with this freeze coming to Texas. Is that happening? Yeah. Okay. You got to prepare. Wait, are you joking? No, I'm not joking at all. You better. It happened. It was scary. Stock up um, because what? they. You might not um, have what? power next next week. You gotta get water first of all. Stop it. No. And no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, our our electricity goes out if it gets too. It doesn't even have to snow if it gets too cold. The electricity goes mm -hmm. out. I swear to God, <laughs> it's like third world. And, and last, like last last year, my mom didn't have hot water for I think a month. <laughs> but she electricity. Uh, if she didn't have electricity for a week, but then so what do you do? Uh, I you kind of just right? stink. <laughs> but like, you have to go to work. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't know I don't We're know your job <laughs> I don't know your job Maybe some people will have to go to work Other people will will stay home Do you have an office job? <laughs> no, I'm a server Then you're going to go to work, buddy <laughs> Then you're going to go to work, buddy They're going to get you in the trenches But I have a question Like, If my power is out, wouldn't the power be out at work? That, no. So w one time all our water was dirty for like two months And I was like oh I guess all the restaurants are closed And all the restaurants were like no we just boil it No they don't they just make you work through it <laughs> You're gonna do dirty water and ele no electricity Yeah Wait what are you prepping yours with? Uh, I live by a hospital a lot of You're probably good I live on West Campus that close to I'm, like, I'm literally on the campus You can check online and see if you're in the same grid as things like a hospital Because my old house was on a hospital we didn't lose power I, I'm on the same grid as a fire station. I'm on both. I live right next to a fire station. I live right next to a hospital. You're kind of guessing you're on the grid right now, though. When you said, <laughs> yeah. You said, Where? no, I know both of them. Well, how <laughs> no, no, I know, but I know them. I'm so close. <laughs> yeah. But you don't know how close. How, wait, what's the grid website? What's the grid website? Oh, okay. Busted there, right? <laughs> it, yeah. it's, like Ep, it's called F. Scott or F. Scott. <laughs> Okay. Listen, yeah. I'm not like a power grid nerd, okay? okay? I'm not some loser looking online being like, Jimmy, Ooh. can you look up the power grid, please, and where I live? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now, I need Jimmy, to see if they're going to make yeah. me go to work or no, not. No, you, you should go. No, you definitely you are going to have to go to work. You're going to go to work. But you should stock up on, like, waters. I, I, I got, like, eight cases of sparkling water. That's the most important thing in my okay, life. Okay, I'll just show you that today. Yeah. 
I got a 24 case of non-alcoholic beer and then two steaks and a little propane stove. Once I add that smoker to the mix, well, oh, here's my problem. I'm doing keto, so what am I supposed to do if my power is out and I can't cook my meat? You're going to have to get fat again. No. <laughs> it's either get fat or die. I'll just buy like sam um a salmon? No. <laughs> Look, there are no keto snacks. Walks into H E B to salmon prep. I'll take twenty of the fishies. <laughs> no, what would I do? What would I do? I'm scared. You should be. I actually don't think it's gonna happen. No, I'll it's tell like you, it is. No. During the twenty twenty one freeze, I was able to walk down to the flag store right by my house, little apart little like a bodega situation. I got myself all the ingredients I would need for micheladas. I let my dog play in the snow. It was one of the best days of my life. It's fine. You guys are such children. I'm from Massachusetts. But it's not family. the same. Yeah. We you, Massachusetts has infrastructure. But I know how to live my life. Okay. You you just ask what would you do if the power went out? And you asked <laughs> us. You said, what do I do if the power goes out? And we're like, we well, thought about what we would do. <laughs> yeah. well, power, we don't know what you would do, well, Dylan. We're <laughs> ready. <laughs> but you're like, but you're like, it's like stock up. It's like stock up on what the oven doesn't work because everything's electrical in my apartment. So like we want me to do start a fire. You get a propane stove. I'm not getting a propane stove. So okay. I guess I'll just, <laughs> I guess I'll just eat house. salami. You can go into my house. No, I'll just eat string cheese. You just get a string cheese it for and a week? And salami. I'm on keto. Nice. That Okay. After a while, when you start eliminating things, keto just turns into a normal eating disorder again. Yeah. So going from keto to only string cheese is like, oh shit, we just saw the descent in real time. Yeah. <laughs> we just saw it happen. In I real know. Time. I, I, I used to have a friend watch. that would go. It's like I'm on keto, and then he would just show up stinking like cheese because he ate a fucking huge block of I cheese. I actually don't do that, but yeah. Yeah, I eat mostly. You say I eat the cheese, but I don't stink of it. I'm different. <laughs> <laughs> Your friend sounds gross. When I eat the cheese, it's actually like really good. Smell. Yeah, it's a good smell. I'm eating <laughs> tubes of ground beef at this point. You, oh, I have a lot of ground beef in, in my house as well. But you know what I'm going to do is now that I said this, I'm just going to make a bunch of chicken in the crock pot and I'll just have shredded chicken for a week. That's great. That's great. Yeah. It's fantastic. Crock pot? Yeah. Okay. It sounded wrong when you said it. No, crock pot. Crock pot? What does that stand mean? It means, have you ever used a crock pot? Is it C-R-O-C? -C? The crock pot's the original air fryer. Is it crock? As in... It's like a slow cooker. Is it? Is it short for croquette? No. Is it a French word? That sounds right. Is crock pot not short for croquette pot? Who cares? Crock thaniel pot. That's what it's short for, actually. <laughs> Man, the, so in 2020, you, I found no, out that... You do gay stuff. I do gay stuff? That. No, no, wait. No. I, I want to... Are you able to talk about any of the communist stuff? I can't. I, if you have questions, What's I can What's communist? Before. Communism is like an ideology based on like socialism. I've heard people say you fucking commie, but Me what does too. that mean? It means you want to build like a... Typically, a communist is someone that's in an organization whose goal is to enact socialism in whatever state or country they're in. Is that something to do with Russia? Russia used to be a communist country. It was USSR. It was like a big... <laughs> So a and you're a communist. I, in my youth, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I read Marx and Lenin, and I was like, these guys are tight. They're tight. You should read them. Okay. Yeah, I remember being like, Lenin never wanted Stalin, so we didn't even know what it really looked like. I remember saying that. Well, a lot of people say stuff like that. What do you say? Nothing anymore, man. When I was younger, I was like, man, I want to I want to build a better world, and now I'm not like, I'd like to smoke meat on the weekends with my wife. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I used to be like, do you know what I like to do, dude? Fucking fixing the world and now i'm like you know you can put wings in there for 16 hours but they taste incredible they fall right off the bone i got hickory chips for the smoke i, I actually do agree Wait. with you no he, yeah I, but i what i will say is that's the curse of being young is thinking like i'm gonna change things and then people you forget you grow up and you think i'm actually fine with this yeah it's like no things aren't good but <sighs> what's better right it's also hard because things aren't good for other people mm -hmm. But they're fine for me. <laughs> yeah. I can't lie. Life's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So Did I, I tell you guys I go about like... the smoker I'm getting today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but a hundred dollars for a smoker seems cheap. I know, such a good deal. I so what I do is I spell words wrong on Facebook Marketplace. So people think you're mentally challenged? No, I spell word wrong when I search it and the people that put it up have the word spelled wrong, so they've been up there for weeks. So I found a guy that was listening to smoker for two fifty, had been up there for two weeks. Because it was a uh, smoker with no O, S M K E R. Didn't show up when other people are searching a smoker, but I searched the word wrong. Oh, I thought smoker you were... from Magic. So oh. then did you also like search like smoker? And... Oh, yeah. 
Every every <laughs> everything your brain can do that's dumb, my brain already does that. That's the way I operate. So uh-huh. I just went in there pure at heart and searched the way I search and I just come up like that and I go, Oh yeah, every been oh, everyone's using spell check and being smart, paying full price for you smokers. I'm driving out to Buddha, baby. <laughs> Getting a deal. I love Buddha. Yeah. How big's the smoker? He's pretty big. It's like this big. He said, are you going to have someone to help you load it in your truck? And I said, is it that big? Can you help me? He goes, me and my sons will help you. I said, thank you. Is he good looking? Me and my sons. He's like an old, his whole family. But you do gay stuff. I'm married. I don't do anything but straight stuff. (laughs) You want me to do gay stuff. No, I I can tell. I can tell (laughs) you want me to do gay stuff. No, so bad. This podcast is about gay stuff. I've done gay stuff, but I. You know what I think is gay? Because you're bisexual. I don't think bisexuality is a lie. Democrats made up (laughs) to make college kids horny. Okay, bisexuality is something that was sold to you on TV. No one's bisexual. Some dudes just need to come. That's uh, some dudes just need. And if it, if you think that getting your dick sucked by a dude is gay because you need to come is gay, call my ass Liberace, whatever, dude, <laughs> whatever, dude. Yeah. But I think is gay is loving a dude. You would never catch my ass falling in love with a dude or really? kissing a dude with tongue. Pff, that's gay I know. Shit. Sometimes guys don't want to kiss and they come over. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, those are straight guys that are getting what out on you. <laughs> I, that's I, I love that. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what he's searching for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what gay guys like? What? Straight guys. Yeah. They go crazy for that. They go crazy. For, I worked at a lot Not of me. gay bars where guys. Not you. Not me. No, you you don't want a challenge. <laughs> I grew up in a small. I grew up in a small town. A downgrade. That's a pure heart game. I'm right going there. down. It feels Wait, what like. Am I? A, they don't you take- are you you say don't look me in the eyes and kiss me fuck me I need to come that's a classic gay <laughs> that's a classic gay this is that modern gay that's like married yeah modern gay right I'm there, not dude. married yeah <laughs> I'm a gay of the eighties uh, yeah, yeah I do the standing jack off circles <laughs> oh my god <laughs> have you ever done that no but have you have, have you? you ever sucked dick or- I've never sucked dick I've like I I. Oh man, I remember one time I was like, But you've let hundreds of guys suck your dick. Hundreds of guys <laughs> suck my dick. <laughs> you are like the guys I went to high school with. This is nuts. No, I I so like I've maybe had my dick sucked like three times by a dude. Same yeah. dude? No. Oh, okay. Same okay, but let's say I've had my dick sucked three or four times by dudes. Different dudes. Okay. But oh. then a couple times from some dude. You know what I mean? Some dudes are like, oh, I want to suck your dick again. I'm like, yeah, whatever, dude. Lay it on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Lay it on me. Oh, Was so it- you're like serious. Okay, so uh, for some reason, someone had told me that you were like full on bisexual. No. And so that's where Wait, I was who? going for. I can't remember. But I am. I actually think now you're being me. so open about literally just like. I now I'm like he's not bisexual. I was telling him and Greg the other night too, and they were both just hearing what they wanted to hear. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, I'm not gay. I've just had gay sex because I've been horny and drunk. And I think that's 20s. so cool, and I, that's, that's, <laughs> I think <laughs> that's so cool. I so I had a gay Call my shit, ass uh, milk. No, you really are. I don't think there's anything more open. When you're like, well, yeah, whatever. Why would I care? Because so many guys do care, and I think it's cool that you don't. I yeah, I think I think the problem that the the people that have a problem with it is like they think that by doing something it makes them something it's not on this I podcast think if i loved a dude i would be gay or bisexual i think yeah. if i had a crush on a dude that'd be like a gay or bisexual thing yeah but if i'm like six fucking cold ones deep at sidebar and like 23 and like you know there's like a fucking dude there that's like a hot beautiful man that looks like a woman's face that's like yo i'll blow you you be 23 and say no to a blow job that's fucking gay Say no to a blowjob that you know you could get is one of the gayest things I've ever heard in my life. Okay. Yeah. I don't like blowjobs, though. I guess I'm a modern you gay like in that kind of them, way. Yeah, yeah. You like giving them, I like you? giving them, yeah. Yeah, we like giving them. Mm-hmm. Which is gay. pretty gay. Classic. Classic yeah. modern gay. A beautiful new birth of a type of man, you know? Wow. That's so cool. I always thought what I'd and be. And does your wife think less of you? No. So- I mean, if I, was having, if I was having sex with men behind her back or if i was like if i like if i went home today and i was like yo dude there's this dude i want to have sex with she'd be like no you're my husband you know what i mean yeah i don't i don't want to have but sex you've with never had though. anal sex with a man what does that mean i've never had my foot butt no but you have, man. have you you butt fucked have, have i butt fucked a man yeah no uh, i have wait. butt fucked a trans woman though Okay, that's not gay. Okay. That's not gay, right? N- well, no. Are you asking me? <laughs> yeah. I, I know some dudes that are like, yo, that's gay. And I'm like, okay. If that's gay to you, fuck whatever, I don't dude. think that's gay. I don't think so Because either. I'm gay and I don't I want to have sex with trans women. Yeah, I mean. So I don't think that's gay. It's not like I was on Tinder swiping for trans women. You know what I mean? I wasn't like, ooh, I'm going to get me a good old. I was at Sidebar. It's it was, yeah, it was very much like I'm at Barbarella's. What, what am I, 23, 24? Uh-huh. Horny. Yeah. You know, loose. Oh, Oh, you want to fuck my butt? <laughs> yeah, girl. 
I absolutely do. You know, <laughs> absolutely I do. I'm yeah. not even gonna look at the front situation. None of my oh, business. I have no clue what she has. Now she can I have I a remember. penis or no penis, no problem. Because you like to get penetrated. Yeah, everyone likes to get penetrated. There's a uh, orgasm button up there. You know yeah. that. Yeah. The first time someone told me there was an orgasm up my butt, like an orgasm button up my butt, I said, "Bullshit! There's just more poop up there, right?" Yeah. I had that's. I've been up there. I've had. You know, I know what comes out. It's poop. Then you've been up there. Oh, his wife fucked. Okay. Oh yeah, that. yeah, absolutely. The first time I got nailed in the butt, I was like, "Oh, this is it. This is nuts. It's an orgasm button." But you've never let a man put his dick inside. No way, dude. That's gay. Yeah, that is. That's gay. gay. Prison rules, gay. Oh well, yeah, oral. It's so not did you gay. buy your wife the thing that was gonna fuck you, or did she already have it? Or did she have a thing and she was using it on her and you go, hey, I got one of those too. No, we actually Holes, went to the store and picked it out together. That's love. That was love, yeah. What was is. Is love, yeah. Did she, did she Did she? try to like get go way too big? Want, yeah, absolutely. I get that. I get that. Yeah. You know I, mean? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I respect, dude. If I was yeah. going to pick it out, I'd be like, yeah, let me get this massive beast of the thing. I was like, yeah, split me wide open, girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are yeah. going to change the way I walk, mama. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't need to be big. It needs to be long and a shaped a little bit funky. You know, uh, you get yourself a good butt fucker that's just like a little tube that turns and then there's like a bulb at the end. Buddy, you're going to have a hard time pulling that out of there. Yeah. Right? It's fantastic. Does she strap it on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. She did the whole, you know. Really? Humping. Yeah. Do you know what women hate? Working during sex. Yeah. Women, w- women the first time, if you ever if you, you ever have a woman fuck you in the butt that she's never done that before, she's going to be like, damn, thank you. So, yeah, yeah, thank me for my service, dude. You realize how much effort this is to nail someone? Do you think all women should fuck their boyfriends in the ass so that they know how hard it is to thrust? Sure. I'm more on with my boys being like, dude, you got to try this. It's, yeah. it's incredible. I'm more as solidarity with the homeboys out there that haven't gotten their butt fucked. My man. Now, do you talk to them about this a lot? Homeboys that haven't gotten their butt yeah. fucked? Dude, I'm like, I prostylize this all the time. I say, dude, you got to try it. And what do they say? They say, no. Guys are either in. They're either like, oh, I tried that when I was like 19. Dude, I'm horny and I wanted to try stuff. Or... They're like, yo, I don't do anything in my butt. And I go, yo, I used to be the same fool. I, I, I used to have closed eyes and a bad attitude towards a lot of ideas myself, my man. Try it out one time. Even just get in the bath, put something, put a little warm bath on and stick a finger up there just to test it out. Mm-hmm. To see if you can get even a little bit in there. A little, a little pinky in the water, if you will. Yeah, and I will. Dude. Pinky, though. No, put me no. To bed, no, dude. thank you. Pinky? Pinky scares it won't reach me. It. It's just to make sure that you can, you know, hey, this is what it's like to get something in there. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whoa. When was your first time? Getting my my back blown out. Oh no! Just I guess just penetrated. Yeah, getting my first time I got. I penetrated. love that you're using such aggressive words to describe it too. You're like, it's not like the first time that I was like, you're like the first time I was fucking racked. Yeah, I was real. <laughs> I was I was absolutely. I made a slut out of me. Yeah. I got yeah. my ass slutted out. <laughs> do you feel Do you feel feminine when it's happening? No, should I? No, no. I, I will if you ask. If she asked me to, I'd be like, oh, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm a woman. I don't, whatever she needed, I would. I don't have an issue with it. Well, she's she's not coming. No, it it makes women horny. At least my wife. Yeah, but then it gets them going. But then, then you're probably done. With what? No, I've, I've okay. Wait, so so you can't you come a couple of times when you're gonna be fucked in the ass? Uh, one or me? You. No. Really? No. I'll be straight with you. I'll tell you, after I come, I'm pretty much done. And you better finish up fast. My dinky's leaky. By the time, what if I'm getting a situation in my butt, it's like there's like a, a unhealthy amount of pre-cum. So like I haven't actually blasted yet, but like my dingling is wet. I get moist for it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get juiced up down there, dude. I do. I do. Guilty as charged. Yeah. You know what? I'm texting my wife like right now being like, babe, we're doing something tonight. That's so Clear funny. the calendar. I got that special shower head attachment to clean it out for you. <laughs> was it your idea or her idea? I think at first initially. It was obviously his idea. No, no, no. She was like, oh, I would try that. I would want to do it. And I'd never really even been like a dude that's like, I need my butt fucked. You know what yeah, I mean? For right. me. Because pretty much every girl I've dated has wanted to put something up my butt. Right. And I wasn't in love. So I said no to all of them. I haven't. I actually haven't bottomed because I'm not in love either. And that's why I'm waiting to bottom for when I'm in love or when or when I get a good body. Either one. That is. That's like what they teach Christian kids in school. What is to wait till you're in love. That's why I'm waiting. I'm mm-hmm. Christian. Me too. I am a modern gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just anybody who who wants it. It sucks because it was her idea initially. She was like, "Oh yeah, I want to try it," and then I'm like, "You made a little demon out of me." 
And now I'm a little rabid dog. Be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had, I was talking to a comic, and he said that he can't come without it now. Hell, drop names, yeah. I think I think I can say it. Say it, Laser. Oh, Uncle Laser. I've never actually met him. I've only seen him on the internet. He goes, yeah, it's a fucking problem, man. I have it to is. It, I have oh, to I like to. shove a fucking brush up there sometimes. I was like, what? There what? is. Hey, he thought he was related to me. I was like, I almost a brush? bought. I almost bought his OnlyFans video the other day. I would. I Wait, know, how much is it? Like twenty five bucks. A, to stick a brush up his butt? No, he has a video of him answering questions with the girl sucking his dick. 25 bucks? I know. I almost bought it the other day because I was horny. That seems it? really low, or is that really good? That's, that... that's really high. Oh, really? Yeah. For... How much would you sell a video of you answering questions getting your dick sucked for? Well, it's four bucks. Four dollars. Four dollars. One want... cup of coffee, please. If, it, if it's on OnlyFans, it's uh, you get a lot. So if everybody's buying it, then you get you oh, know, much, the much myth more. That tricked a generation of women. <laughs> 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 OnlyFans was the craziest when that shit first popped off, and like every girl was like, oh, "I'm gonna make money," and like just women I worked at different coffee shops with were posting full nudes on Twitter, thinking they were about to break bank. I was like, "Damn, I'm not gonna be the person that's like, hey, you're not gonna make a lot of." Money. Money, you're just showing tits for cups of coffee over here. <laughs> you know what's crazy? It Wait, is did they not? No, a Most lot of women. Did, no. You know what's really embarrassing? It's it's embarrassing <laughs> to try to make it as a comedian. It's embarrassing to try to make it as a podcaster. Mm -hmm. But it is humiliating to try to make it as a sex worker and not have it happen. Like to have an OnlyFans with four subscribers that you're really putting your work into. Now that's humiliating. I have, I have is that, is that wrong to say? I have 150 no, I mean, subscribers, but it's free at this point. You have 150 subscribers? Yeah. Wow, yeah. You you should sell your dick suck for four bucks. You'd make bank. What is that? 400, 400 bucks. bucks. <laughs> <laughs> the math went in my saw the... <laughs> are you, what are you posting? Um, are you forgetting you have one? <laughs> is it, is yeah. it sexy? I, have, I haven't advertised on like any of my things yet. But yeah, no, it's just like butt pics. Cool. It's called Colon Travels. Basically, just me anywhere, anytime I travel, I take a little butt pic. You show a hole or just there. your butt? No, I don't. I don't. Don't show a hole, Colton. I, I think I, I'll sell That's that money. one for $5. Yeah, there's a $5 hole. I ain't a cheap bitch. <laughs> this you, hole is top price. Would you ever, I, would, how much would it cost to get a video of you getting fucked by your wife? By you? You get the video or where? No, no, no. If you're online. I don't know if you guys have met my wife. Yeah. I have. Yeah, she's like a very she's beautiful. sweet, beautiful Christian woman. And I don't I think there's a Christian single woman. number I could give my wife to show whole on the internet. I think I could, if, I, if it was like $2 million and we didn't have to work anymore, Did she'd you, be like, oh, yeah, I'll nail the shit out of you. Uh -huh. Let's get on some Sheik's yacht or something. But with $2 million, you have to be good with money because you can make a lot of mistakes and lose it. Are you good with money? I think I would be a worry I would have once I have the money in my hand. Uh-huh. <laughs> And if I'm a fool, I'm a fool with two million, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like you could buy like a nice plot of land outside of Austin. Oh yeah, I bet I could get one of those prostate vibrators. You know what I mean? <laughs> Finally give my wife a break. <laughs> Finally give my wife a break. You know what I mean? I say, baby, you deserve a day off. You know, <laughs> get a get a get a night off from the fields. You know, this girl's in the trenches, elbow fucking deep in my butt so much. She's oh. just like, do you have two million dollars? Yeah. Since you hand her a fucking, I'm like one million now is my the pure gold vibe. <laughs> <laughs> the pure gold. Giving vibe. her a remote, <laughs> sliding a remote across the table. I've I've seen that commercial so many times, like or ad so many times of like like a top has has the controls to like his that. bottoms thing. What I, does it do? Put a clamp on his. Penis? No, that's you don't. No, get no, no. So it's exactly what you just said. It's a remote. Yeah, oh, the like, vibrates you, up so there. So yeah, you'll go out to dinner and he'll just be like, "But that's straight right. culture." No, I think it's no. I think only straight people should have the the underwear that like vibrates. Couldn't agree more. I that's really between think, a man and a woman. I do think it is. I, I think, think when a woman men do it, it's less valuable when me and my wife do it. It's also just like that's what I, I, I do. I, I do too, actually, because <laughs> because like that's that's Tuesday for us. That should be Catholic. <laughs> Kids you know, ruined butt fucking for straight couples. They did. <laughs> yeah, I, it's I, a I, holiday anyway. thing for my family. Exactly. Buddy. We bust out the china for this. I shave my whole body and dip it in wax. Okay, wonder, buddy. You know what's crazy? I wonder how many men are getting fucked up the ass, and we just don't know because they're so scared to talk about it. I think, and like, I think a lot of dudes are nervous that people will think they're, they're gay. gay. That, but people I have, have always of, thought I was gay. That's. 
I actually uh, love that. I also say this. I think that? that most, I'm, you know, feminine, and I'm like, I think love all men. I think all I men's think biggest boys. fear is that other people are gonna think they're gay. I think most men's biggest fear is that other men are gonna think, or anyone's gonna think they're gay. Or weak. Or, or, but when they say weak, they mean gay. Okay. At least I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you were raised by your deaf mom. Yeah, hard of hearing mom, and then hearing. And she's dad. gay. No. Oh. She has been in a few different gay weddings. Which oh. is crazy because we're fundamentalist Christians. Like I was homeschooled to believe that the Earth was five thousand years old, and that how old is it? I don't know. Yeah. If it's five thousand, I'm willing to be wrong again. Yeah. Someone told me it was billions after I got out of the homeschool community, and I haven't like Googled it to look up or anything. Like I don't care. So. Yeah, I think it's I somewhere. I don't fucking know. Billions for sure. Five thousand works for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but <laughs> what's gonna change? That's the thing. Is like if the old if the word if the Earth is old or new, how does it change my life at all? I have rent to pay. That's kind of like when people are like, it's flat. It's not it's flat. Fair. It's like, who cares? Yeah. If, it, if the earth's flat, okay. I'm an idiot. I have to go to work even if it freezes. I'm a server. <laughs> 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 I lose electricity and they make me show up and serve people food. I don't care if the earth's flat. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. People I, care so much. Yeah. I've You've taught me to care a lot less. I don't care at all. But then I go like, yeah, Thank you for I, I, I taught also, you something. Huh? I taught you something. Yeah, I, but I listen yeah. to the news and like politics every day, or I read the news every day. Why? You don't it's even all stick fake. Stuff up your butt when you masturbate. No. You don't love yourself. You know, I have an issue with my body. Everyone does. Yeah. Everyone has social anxiety. Everyone you know what's hates funny? I'm glad you said that because it actually reminded me of this one time this guy, I was this guy I had sex with for a while. I, I said something about like, oh, you know, like I don't like my body, and he was like, yeah, none of us do. He's like, get over it, and I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, especially hot, like I don't want to hear people with you. like fit bodies. <laughs> no, Gigi's no, connecting no. with what I'm saying. <laughs> people with fit bodies think about it more. That's why they have fit bodies. They go like, "Oh, I wish I had a line right here, but oh, I it must know. be so hard." Yeah, it feels exactly yeah, the same. same. It does. You know what? That's I was like, wrong, Colton. That is the same as what we feel. Cut. No, because no, he's no, gonna bring this, this up right now. This is my fucking problem. Okay, no, 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 no when a, a blind person I've never being said like, must be nice. I've never said must yeah, be nice. I'll say it right now. You did. Oh, it must be nice. It's there like you know. it's like meeting a porn addict and then a blind person goes, Must be nice. No. <laughs> yeah. It's completely different. Oh, you can't you can't have you don't have my addiction. No, it must but, be nice. You can't fucking see. It's like when they're like models are the most insecure people. It's yeah. like yeah, who cares? You know the unhappiest people are actually the super rich. Yeah, yeah, it's like okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, hearing that one, (laughs) that one, that one, I'll rescind everything. (laughs) I've heard that before from like, and I get it. You, you've dedicated your life to like not looking like me, but I just woke up and I still look like this. (laughs) Yeah, he went for a walk this morning. Nice. I do jujitsu. That's cool. It's it, if you're a gay dude, you would love jujitsu. I really, really just want to meet like a, a hyper masculine man who loves me. <laughs> and do you think I can find that at jujitsu? You're not describing me right now. Oh, you mean like love you to fall in love and be your husband? Yeah, it's probably not me. But the yeah. other part, I would say hyper masculine that loves uh-huh, you, uh-huh. right here, dude. I'm oh, getting, cool. a, I'm getting a meat smoker today. That's true. Are you gonna smoke me some meat? You got it, dude. Are you kidding me? What do you think I'm doing this weekend? Especially if it freezes. Oh if yeah, it freezes, oh, yeah. I'm oh, smoking shit. meat for the whole. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. Hey, I'll save you. Yeah, I got a truck. Yeah, I'll drive my truck to your house. I I'll have... throw a line up to your apartment window, and I'll I'll, I'll hey. climb up there. Hey, carry you down, dude. Ground level. Ground level. Thank God. Yeah. Because when I just when I described driving, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I can do yeah. that. <laughs> I'm kind of over committing right now. But yeah. the smokes meat, smoke meat. I can do that. That's I'll come pick you. Thing. I'll come pick you up. You would. You can't. What do you mean I can't? You'd crash your car. What? You have I a Jetta. Colorado, dude. You have a Jetta. It, it, yeah, it's better to have a, a four-wheel today? drive on ice. Are we fighting obviously. today? No. Okay. I'm just kind of lashing out at the world. I know. You are lashing out, and I'm kind of going, you don't want to connect with me. <laughs> no, that's not. No, no. So I would be in Colton are connect on the podcast, and to. we are like, you know, it's that. And then sometimes he likes to go like, I'm I'm myself today. Well, you remind him how insecure <laughs> he is about his body. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can you imagine? Are you insecure about your body? I wouldn't like gladly take my, I wouldn't take my shirt off right now. Really? I would gladly take my shirt off anywhere. I have to, I take my shirt off all the time. (laughs) I take, I'm like, and here's the thing. I am fat. So it is funny. Like when I take off my shirt, people know something funny's coming. It's not like, Ooh, something sexual or dangerous. It's like, okay, what's this goofball going to do? You know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I'd take off my shirt and people like, Oh, he thinks he looks good. (sighs) Never a worry of mine. People, when oh. I take off my shirt, people are always like, this is an exercise in humility. <laughs> <laughs> He's so brave. Yeah. Wait, that's so funny. He's so brave. Yeah. I do love your, I could fit my whole fucking finger in my belt. I can, thank you. It's one of my, one of my like biggest skills in the world. Wait, I've never seen it pop out. Stop, oh, don't seriously? do it. Can I dump it out? Can we do it at the end? Don't, I, stop. Why? Wait, do wait, wait. Are you, wait. Well, the face you're making is not helpful for him. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're going, well, Oh, be insecure about your body. And you're like, no, <laughs> yeah. Takes an exercise in humility and grossing out Dylan. No. <laughs> yeah, He's like, going, no, JT, I love you. I just hate fat bodies. No. Fat bodies disgust me. It's not you. You're great. I'm happy you're here. But the body that fills that chair does make me sick to my yeah. core. And keep the clo- 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 wait, I, can, I hear, can I hear what I heard that you were going to ask him to do? Is to show your fat tummy. <laughs> no, what I thought what I thought that you said was that you can take your full finger and stick it all the way down your belly button yeah. and pop that back out. Absolutely, I can. <laughs> that that's disgusting. Like that, like I, I belly buttons freak me out. Belly buttons freak you out? Yeah, I got the freakiest belly button. In the Please game. don't do it. Don't or, do it. I respect you. Can you do it at the end? I'll do it whenever you tell me to. I'm I'm, a, yeah. I'm like a dog. Baby. I think I think we can't just say this. We have to do it now. Do it. You guys want to see it? Yeah. Yeah. Can I show you guys? All right. So. I'm, I'm literally so scared. Don't be scared. You're safe. But let's see your eyes. Right here. You ready? <laughs> yeah. That's the whole fucking finger in my belly button. And I know what you're thinking, Dylan, right here. I so I can see him. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, oh, JT's just buried his finger. In the fat from his tummy, right? That's what you think's going on. You think this is a fat body condition. Wrong. Let me check this out. This is what this Dylan, look. I got off work early to be here. You gotta watch this, okay? What what's gonna happen when it freezes? I'm gonna come save you. So you better watch this. I can bring the tube out. The tube comes all the way out. Yeah. It doesn't even end either. It keeps going. Dylan, look! Lock the doors. Yeah, <laughs> pretty impressive. I know. Oh. People say, "How'd you find out you could do that?" I go, "I was just sticking my finger places." Oh my god! I was just doing my thing. You know, everyone has that time of meditation and prayer. Dylan's crying right now. <laughs> There's real tears coming out of his eyes. Oh wow! You good? I really am not a belly button person. <laughs> Will you? I would can you do that with, with your butthole? Button. You ever rose butted? <laughs> have, <you ever, laughs> have you ever? Have you ever stuck a finger up my belly? No, no, rosebud, rosebud it. Oh, that's my biggest fear. What's yeah. rosebud? It's when it's basically that with a butthole. Oh. I once sent a photo of my butthole to a dude online for a hundred bucks on Twitter. When? And he told me I had a beautiful, well kept, and manly butthole. And then I swear to God this is true. He said, Do you know what cash slaving is? And I said, No. And he said, If you insult me and call me an ATM faggot, I will send your money. And so I immediately took a video. I was like, You're a dirty little faggot ATM and he sent me money. And then my friend was like, he's probably going to blackmail you with that video. And I was like, how is he blackmailing me? I have 50 bucks. <laughs> what yeah. $50 am I going to lose for saying a slur? <laughs> I think I'm oh, yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love when guys suck, let me suck their dick and call me a faggot while I'm doing it. That's crazy. A guy on Twitter did too. Sent me money for yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's huge in our community. Do you like that? I think I'd be more confused. I didn't like it until it happened to me. And then I was doing it and I was like, whoa, this is awesome. Say it louder. If my wife called <laughs> say, me a faggot say it louder. Louder. having sex, I would be so hurt. I would be like, that doesn't sound like you're trying to be fun right now. That sounds like you're trying to hurt my feelings. <laughs> so I would sign, I'd say, hey, stop. What's going on? You go, you go, you can fuck me up the ass, but you can't call me a faggot. Yeah. Like, you're doing <laughs> you a bitch, right? not your fag, yeah. okay? Yeah. There's a line. Do you like to, well, I guess when I asked earlier, which felt like an inappropriate question, which do you feel feminine? I guess what I meant to ask was, do you feel submissive? No, I mean, I, so like, I just feel horny and like, there's no like overlapping or like, but you don't feel like submissive, nothing. You're just kind of like, I do this like, yeah, fuck me up the Honestly, ass. It feels good. I would pretend to be if it made her fuck me harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if, if she was going to fuck me harder, I'd be like, oh no, 
I'm I'm so little or whatever. Yeah. I would do it. I would, so, please. I don't know. I would I'm do it. I'm so little. But for me, if I'm having sex, my mind's fucking in the game. I have nothing to say. Uh-huh. All I feel is horny. You're not verbal. No. I you, love I don't, verbal. There's never been Are a girl that's like, oh, that voice no. sounds good. I'm actually dark. like weirdly quiet. Me too. I'm so thankful Until to Until like the very end. I've always heard once then you've like, sold Whoa. it, stop selling. Whoa. What? Once you've sold it, stop selling. If someone's having sex with me, I don't want to ruin it with something fucking stupid, I would say. Oh, Ooh, you want to yeah. see if how many fingers I can fit in my belly button? <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be, that's so. Oh, you can fit multiple? You want to find out? <laughs> <You're right. laughs> do you, you want to try sticking a couple in this bad boy right now? No, no. All right. We're married. We're married. <laughs> we're married. I'm, a mar- I'm a modern gay. I can't <laughs> be out here modern. fingering people's belly button. <laughs> no. Oh, God damn. That's so good. So you're Christian. Does, sure. Um, you're not Christian. I say I am. Yeah. My it, parents it, are. Colton old. also says he's Jewish. Yeah, I've said I'm Jewish just to like, get discounts. <laughs> I'm what? I go, I go, do you do any military discounts? And they go, no. I go, what about any in tribe discounts? And I go, <laughs> like this. And if they're in tribe, and I go, and I kind of go like this, they'll get me a little discount, a little 10, 15% off. And you're just it. guessing if they're Jewish? Yeah, I throw the roll the dice. And if I don't get it there, I'll go, oh, maybe what if we're in the same caste system in case they're Hindu? Mm-hmm. You know, your God's my God, dude. I'll be whatever. Yeah, I love yeah, that. yeah, yeah. You I, don't. yeah. I've stopped. In my 20s, I was like, I have to tell everybody that they're wrong about God. Nice. I don't know. I'm just like, whatever. Maybe even into your 30s, you felt that way. <laughs> no, for sure. Like Maybe until like, maybe like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, yeah. I Cause actually, we were talking about God a little bit in the last episode, and you didn't come and like attack me for it. And I thought like, oh, that's so cool. Do you believe in God? Not in the way that other people do. Do you believe yes. in God? No. No? I like. I believe that yeah, God is the thing that's inside of all of us that keeps us all connected. You've done mushrooms. Yeah, you get it. Same boat. Like I never right. believed in like the God and the Bible and stuff no, like that. And I never. Not. But like doing mushrooms or DMT or whatever it was for me, I was in like you know eighteen, nineteen, whatever. It was like, oh, I get it. It's either and the God or the simu- the code that the simulation whatever is. It whatever is, it is, right? the thing that keeps us all. When I look into your eyes and you look into mine, and I said that's Colton, that's still, and we're connected. Uh-huh. That's God. Okay, then sure, I believe. I believe in energy. Caught his ass. He can't say we just God. got him into heaven. Well, he can't say God. <laughs> we just got, got Colton in, into, into heaven. heaven. Wait, wait, wait. Your guy's God. Christian. Sends some people to hell. You worship Jesus now, and we send a lot of people to hell. <laughs> <laughs> the bad ones. Wait, even gays? Uh, you know what? I can't speak to what the God has planned for all those Your wife is sinners. Christian, and what does she think of gay people? Oh, she's fucking down with gay people. But hell, is yeah. she down with gay people here and thinks, like, in the afterlife, we're going to hell? No, of course not. Okay, cool. Not at all. She, like, believes in, like, she's like a universalist Methodist. Everyone goes to heaven. Jesus is love. God is love. She likes she likes going to church because she gets to take care of children. Wait, they believe that everyone goes to heaven? Yeah, universalists do. So they're Jews. Sure, they probably wouldn't like that, but why not? <laughs> why not? Fuck it. Fuck they it. probably wouldn't like that. Yeah. No, we're not. Let's we're say not that to a Muslim. Like be like, wait, you think that um, there's just one God and he's greater than the rest? So you're a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> let's drop that on a Muslim and see what they do. Yeah, let's experiment. That sounds fun. Do some man on street first. Be like, you Muslim? You Muslim? Guy looking like me. I dare I know identify who's Muslim in downtown Austin. No, in a good way. In a good way. I'm about to tell you you're a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I got good news. Have you heard the good news? I have not. You. That's amazing. We all are. We all are. I, mean, I think we all kind of are right now. I agree. Hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're addicted to soda. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. And what's your flavor? I like Coke Zero or Diet Coke. Yeah, Diet Coke's the best. Diet Coke's the best. Oh, my God. It's so good. I drink that. I Every time I leave my house. I hate when people go like, but it's making you fat. And I go like, I don't think it is. And if it was, okay. That's what made me fat. Fair enough. If that's what makes me fat, fine. Do you mm-hmm. want to get ripped in this life? <sighs> I do. You do? I do. Not enough to work for it, though. Yeah. If uh, there was a cheat code, I would do that. Oh, is that yeah. It doesn't work for fat people. You have to – It you, the fat comes back after you stop taking it. And also, get losing weight and getting ripped are two different things. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I was How weightlifting for a while, and I saw gains, and it was crazy. And there's a photo of my back I saw from 2019 where you had muscles on my back, and I was like, that's nuts. So I'd like to do that again. But but you do jiu-jitsu. I do jiu-jitsu, and so it's hard to do too much. I don't have like a lot Is of jiu-jitsu time. Is jiu-jitsu male-to-male wrestling? Oh, yeah. And do you think that there are gay guys there or guys yeah. that want to wrestle me? Without a doubt. Have you ever okay. felt a boner? 
Have I've never ever... boner, but one time a guy touched my penis straight on. Whoa. Wait, it, wait. it was in a nogi class when I first started. Nogi? No gi. So there's like, <laughs> oh. there's kind where you wear a costume and it's called gi and you wear like a karate costume with like a kimono and a belt. That's my favorite. I love putting on the costume. I do okay. that one yeah. every day. Then there's a much gayer kind called no gi where you just wear tights and you wear tight, you wear tights from head to toe like a superhero. Okay. And that one is much, much gayer than the costume. And someone uh, came over and he just went like this? Not on purpose. We were wrestling and I was really new and I just didn't really know how to move my body. So I did a really unexpected move, and his hand was already cupped, and it was just right, penis and balls, full contact. It's like his whole hand, and con- it was the most like significant my penis had ever been touched in public, because you're just soft clothes right on someone. He guy didn't even notice. Guy was completely unfazed. We just kept wrestling. I was like <gasps> full full shock to my yeah, system. Yeah. Looked around like I had done something bad. We just kept wrestling. His name's TJ. He's in his uh, late forties. He's in really real good estate. shape. What was that? He's in really good shape. Really good shape, yeah. He's like a fit old guy. I don't know if he's gay or straight, but he touched my penis once full on. Full on contact. <laughs> unforgivable for me. I uh, remember <laughs> in, in high school. And unforgivable. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you, TJ. <laughs> I, uh, in high school, I thought that because I put my boner in my in my waistband that the girls couldn't feel it when I was dancing with them. Nice. And then I, I danced with a man once like that. And I, like, I went like, that's so raven. I was like, they could feel the whole time. Because you could feel it the whole time. So I'm just wondering if I maybe got ex- – I mean, because it's not a gay boner if I'm wrestling. It's a, just an, uh, an adrenaline boner. I'll be honest. If you go to a class and get a boner, you're going to be an outlier. I've never seen someone get a boner wrestling. <laughs> yeah. And it, it's because – No, it like, happens a lot. You think so? Yeah. It's a I've it's an adrenaline bro- boner. Okay. <laughs> you got tricked real. by a really weird coach, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you got molested, my man. <laughs> no, you I got never a, a wrestling coach told you that he was getting adrenaline boners, or you were getting <laughs> adrenaline boners, and you bought it. That's what happened. No, I never molested. wrestled. I never wrestled. Oh. Oh, that's even worse. <laughs> Is this just an uncle then? <laughs> yeah, wait, what are you talking about? Okay, like I think it's a very common thing, and you ask anybody who wrestles. But wait, it happens to one out of every but four you're men. Talking about this happened to you. No, but like I've I've been friends with enough don't wrestlers. Call your brother. I'm gonna call Craig for gold. No, don't call Craig. <laughs> what is Craig? Why is Craig? Why is he your boner guy? <laughs> because he re- he wrestled in college. Oh, he wrestled in college. Yeah, that's really hard to do. You know, college sports is like really good, right? <laughs> and it might have been just high school. Now that I'm saying it out loud, and, it's just, and, I, and thinking. About I actually Craig. think that they, that making them wear the in high school wear the singlet is like abuse. I think that that is why I never wrestled. Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to the matches. <laughs> I was like, this is so sick. There was like no one at the matches. I know, that's how you went. <laughs> so you stood out big. Hey. <laughs> I love the outfit. No I, cut I today, hope, huh? School hey, spirit, they call me. I yeah. actually don't care who wins. Actually, my best friend was dating a guy who was a wrestler. That doesn't make it better. Yeah, we had to go to the No, things. you did not. You didn't have to go. You don't know what it's like to be in a small town. What small town? In Massachusetts. In Massachusetts? Yeah. So in Texas, it's like football? Yeah, football. It's all of sports. See that it's football, there? basketball. It's, there's 4,000 people in the town. There's really not much to do. Mm. You know? If you yeah. can find a way to get $1 off of all of them, though, that's $4,000. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. And I'd show my butthole for that. that. That is true. Or what if we get 4 or $5? That's 8, upwards 000. of 4000 Twice that, at least. 16. Yeah. <laughs> 16, 20 even. Yeah. God. I always think about that. There's so many people in the world. If I could just get $1 from everybody. $1 from every person. Yeah. How many Actually, people have you had sex with? Oh, I don't know. A lot. I, I was, I was, I've had sex with, well, like two, three people maybe. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> that feels like a lie. I felt like a lie. I don't know what to say. I've never been asked how many people I've had sex with. Before. Well, I'm online. They ask people what their body counts are. Really? I yeah. would never ask someone that. I wouldn't. <laughs> oh my I, 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 I just said I wouldn't either. One time I had sex with a girl, and right before we had sex, she told me she was a virgin. And I was like, oh, okay, let's not have sex. And then she was like, what? And I was like, I don't know. That doesn't it just feel weird. And she was like, you're my boyfriend. And I was like, oh, okay. So we had sex. But it was the weirdest. I was like, I don't know how to have sex with you for the first time. I feel like you'll be bummed. Like, did yeah. you fuck a hot guy? Or, like, someone who's really good at sex and not just, like, the fat guy that works at a vegan restaurant by your house. <laughs> yeah. She's, yeah. Wow, wow. Wait, was your first time special? My first time, no, wasn't special. I don't know. It depends on your opinion. I was high on cocaine. 
uh, it was a, a girl I had a crush on in high school. We we had sex when we were both high on cocaine, and um, you were doing cocaine in high school. No, I was nineteen. I was oh, nineteen. Okay, I didn't have sex till I was nineteen. Okay, oh, hey, hey twenty one here. Oh really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I just thought you would go to hell if you had sex before marriage. Yeah. And then I was like, man, I don't, maybe I don't really believe that anymore. And then like that night. A girl I knew wanted to have sex with me, and I said, "Absolutely." Wait, you were doing cocaine and also not believe and believing in God, dude. Nineteen and also be able to be. I went to a party where I smoked weed for the first time, and it's an absolute after school special. Like I smoked weed, and I was like, "Holy shit!" I've been lied to about weed. I grew up in a bubble. I don't understand anything. This world isn't what I thought it was. It just completely blew me away, and so definitely went down a pretty bad route. Because you go from, like, fundamentalist Christian, like, maybe weed's cool. Like, I was doing heroin at six months. Six months But do you think that's because it was so restrictive that, like, if they, had, if they hadn't been so restrictive, it wouldn't have been so crazy? Because it was like, we had this whole thing at my high school where, like, there was a, it was called St. Mary's, the, the, the Catholic school, it was right down the street, but it stopped at eighth grade. So at eighth grade, they all would come to the high school with all mm-hmm. the public kids. And these girls would just go wild it would be like they'd be at parties taking their clothes off that yeah. was my ass yeah yeah it was like because they were so restricted that they came to the public school and they were like i guess i'm gonna get fucked in front of everybody i think it's because yeah. it's a total it's a total way of thinking and if you find one lie you're like oh all of them are lies. it was very much like oh this makes me feel good and it's cool i bet everything's bullshit it was 100 percent in my mind it was just like clicked for me i was like this is all bullshit i'm gonna yeah. do all the bad stuff i ever thought was bad to see what's bad turns out most drugs are actually really bad yeah yeah and are you you're sober now right yeah. i don't even drink alcohol how long has that been <laughs> the alcohol do you smoke pot like three or four months now actually okay good for you like october or september is when i stopped drinking mm-hmm. but I, I used to not drink in my 20s after i first stopped doing drugs i stopped drinking for a long time and how long were you in that cult? Is it a cult? Yeah, I mean, I, I would call it a cult. When I was like in like 2013, 2014, when I first moved here is when it first got started. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, in on the ground floor, right? And it was a new cult. Oh, yeah. Brand new. Brand spanking Wait, new. I didn't know you were in a cult. I got involved in a Maoist organization when I was 20 years old. Mao Zedong. Mao Zedong, the one you're thinking. I'm not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that is. You know is. Mao? He no. led the Chinese Communist Revolution oh. and then ended up trying to build like a big socialist state in China. Okay. And like I went from like fundamentalist Is Christian bad? to yeah, doing heroin. Lot, they did a lot of murder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Landlords. They killed them all. Killed all the but landlords. You know what? Like, and I'm, not, I, I'm not okay with killing, but also it's like the prices are too high. There's something going on. There was a there was at least a little nugget to what they were doing, right? Yeah. You go, hey, these landlords are pissing me off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. maybe these landlords are really yeah. taking a lot of money from us. I it, get it. They are. Know? They are. Oh yeah, but keep going. But yeah, I went from Christian fundamentalist. I was doing hard drugs, and then I got curb stomped when I first moved here. So I got my jaw broken in four places. I had my optical. Just to be clear, curb stomp is when they put your face on, on the curb and they open your mouth bah! and do it. Bacha, yeah, smash your face up against a curb ruined my ruined all the bones like broken 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 multiple concussions do you look the same now as you did then i i got my my teeth are straighter oh that's nice yeah i got my jaw wired shut for two months always something to be grateful for. lost 40 pounds (laughs) always something to be grateful for (laughs) yeah but i was just so alone and vulnerable and sad and the first like friend i made on a bus was like i'm a you know at the time he's like i'm an anarchist you know, and he was just trying to talk to me about politics. And I, it was all cool stuff. It was all like, you know, cops are lame. And your teeth is wired. You're like, and yeah, then, I'll cop, say this. <laughs> cops are lame. Yeah, yeah. Cops, sure, sure. The <laughs> anarchist A is very appealing. And it's like, cool. It, 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 it's cool to be like, I'm an anarchist. And like, that's the A. Yeah. Because if you don't know what anarchism is, it's just like, oh, rebel. Oh, yeah. bad boy shit. 100%. It's like seeing a photo of Malcolm X on a shirt and you just know it's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you don't know what he did or who he was about. You're like, that's a cool guy. He's got the M1 Grand in his hand. He looks, looks cool, right? Yeah. Same thing. And um, pretty quickly, they the people that I was hanging out with started a political organization and a study group, and I got involved in the study group. And I was told pretty much immediately, like, you know, this guy that, that curb stomped, this guy that messed you up, you can't go to the cops about him. Like, you can't testify in court. Like, that's that's capitulating to state needs, and that's, like, anti-people. Like, if you, you it's one side or the other. You either... You know, work with the system or you work against the system. 
And the idea is that these guys would, like, beat him up with me. And they really let me believe that, like, one day we'd be able to beat the shit out of the guy. And now I don't even want that. I don't even care. It's been almost 10 years since I got curb stomped. Why did you get curb stomped? I was letting a drug addict live with me. I, like, this comedian I knew from uh, from Were Sacramento. you doing comedy? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I've been doing comedy since I was, like, 15, 16. Oh, wow. And there was a dude in Sacramento that was, like, an older guy that was doing comedy when I first started doing it. And he's, like, he's still successful. He's, like, a successful guy. He hit me up on Facebook when I first moved here. And he was, like, yo, I was just on this festival with this guy named Xander. Is the San Francisco Burrito Fest or whatever it's called. Put him up. And I was, like, absolutely, dude. And I let this guy named Xander stay with me. And I didn't, I had never really been around drug addicts before. Besides, like, myself. And I didn't even know I was a drug addict. I thought it was cool using drugs. And I didn't know he was, like, using meth and heroin and crack and all these different things. I just thought he was a weird guy. I thought he was, like, a goofy character of a dude. And then one day we get into an argument downtown and he punches me. And, like, it, I, I felt like it dislocated my jaw. And so I try to go home to our apartment to try to lock him out of the one bedroom I'm staying in. Him and his wife were staying in my one-bedroom apartment. And as I'm going into the gate of my parking lot, he jumps me and knocks me out from behind with a big, they don't know if it was a rock or a brick, but he hit me with an object back of my head, knocks me out, and then just tears into me while I'm passed out in the parking lot. Almost kills me. Like, beats me almost to death. And then um, police come, and uh, they catch him, and then they actually arrest him. And uh, he got off, like, beat the charges or whatever, because I went to testify in court. I was... I thought that was like, you know, okay. anti-communist or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a lot nicer now. So is like that guy still doing comedy? What was that? Z Zand, whatever the guy's. His, his, his fake name was Xander Duvo, uh -huh. but his real name was Jacob Forrest. I didn't know his name was Jacob Forrest until after like I saw police reports or whatever. And I think the dumbest thing is like, I just believed this guy's name was Xander Duvo. Was he good at comedy? Nah, I mean, I, 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 honestly, made me laugh. Okay. I can't lie. It made me laugh. I had some funny jokes, but mostly it was just like attention-y. He was going to wear a goofy suit, talk about – he was like fake gay. He would pretend to be gay on stage but had a wife. I hate that. Yeah. He's going to hell. <laughs> what would he say? He would talk about um, – I mean, he had this one story of uh, hosting a twerking contest and one of the women twerking, pooping on the floor, and that was like his like killer bit, but – I didn't think it was that good. Yeah. Made me laugh. Like, for sure it made me laugh. But, I was but also are you going to run into him you know? again? Like, is he? am I going to run into him? Is That'd he going to show right? up and be like, oh my God. I don't know. He was a Portland comic. And uh, uh, he moved from Portland because, like, people were out. People knew. Like, I, I, like. They love to cancel people on that scene. Yeah. This was, what, 2014, too? So, like, it was when canceling people was hot. This was like oh, a yeah. hot, sexy. Every thing when I, in Portland, every single year, a comic got canceled for something, and it would be like, oh, and you would even say things like, oh, no one's gotten like canceled in a while, and then it would like happen. Everyone would turn against somebody. It was like really mean. I saw a Portland comic cancellation in the Portland comic group. This was like two or three years ago. Oh yeah, where this girl added this guy to her close friends and was posting sexual things and screenshot all the things that he would see and then put it in the group because he was married or had a girlfriend or something. It was like. He's interacting with my sexual post behind his partner's back. This is dishonest. And I was like, that oh, is. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. That is like what? next level. Uh, we'll get Imagine your... getting honey trapped what? on being horny, dude. We will... Imagine getting horny what? honey trapped. I would never like a horny story. If you post something horny online, blocked. You'll never catch my ass slipping. <laughs> you know who liked You know who liked my photo of my hole? <laughs> like, yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah, no, we'll get you into the Portland comedy page. It's crazy. I'm, I'm just, I'm not really... I don't really know. You don't want to? I just feel like if they, that city specifically, if they just like stopped doing that and started writing like funny jokes, they could be a lot better. There's some really funny people there. There are some. Yeah. When yeah, I was yeah. in Portland, I was at an open mic with two guys that were both wearing Rick and Morty shirts and they yeah. said they were both going on stage. And I was like, oh, dude, if you went to any other city, you guys would get torn to shreds for wearing Rick and Morty shirts on stage. And I thought I was being goofy with them. Yeah. Like, I would not say that to hurt someone's feelings. Like, I really did think I was being goofy. These guys were so bothered. And they told everyone about it. And there was clearly some sort of group message or Facebook post about it. Because later in that week, I heard about it again. And someone seen it. And I was like, damn. The Rick and Morty shirt comment really fucking, really blew, blew like, wrestled some feathers in this shit. Oh, Yeah. I mean, they're very sensitive people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was funny. Because you would. You would get made fun of, right? You, you walk yeah. in. Well, they, I always say that I brought shit talking to the Portland comedy scene. Thank because you before service. that, people were not doing it. And 
Austin, I feel like, has gotten a lot better with the shit talking. But yeah, even here, you walk in with a Rick and Morty, anything. Yeah. You, I would destroy anybody for wearing anything. Oh. I walked in. Scott <laughs> Scott Fillmore saw me at Black <laughs> Rabbit the other day, and he yeah. goes, Oh, you fresh off a fishing boat? Yeah. And then, yeah, I'm wearing a little hat and a little shirt. I get it, man. You have to destroy people. You have, you have to think. Yeah. Somebody tried to do it to me in a green room, and it was a guy I didn't really know, and he was like, You can't do it to people you don't know. He goes, no. He goes, problem. you look like you'd uh, you'd take all the marshmallows out of the Lucky Charms and, and just eat the marshmallows. And I was like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Well, that's like <laughs> something he probably heard someone say on a podcast. They got a big laugh, and he was like, I'm going to use it. Yeah. yeah. And that's I was like, spe- he, had, he had that chambered for anyone. That wasn't yeah. even about you. It yeah. had nothing to do with yeah. me, and I just go like, I don't know what you're talking about. And he was just like. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that yeah. is the I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm just too. like, well, you're, you're an That's idiot. so embarrassing. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. That doesn't make about. sense. I just be like, oh, yeah, because I'm bad at comedy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to goof. Oh, oh God, I need to learn how to goof. <laughs> I can't be in a green room. Someone teach goofing. me how to goof. <laughs> That's God. me getting my ass fucked by my wife. Please teach me how to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what submissive is to me is admitting I'm not funny. <laughs> That's so funny. Um you're funny. You're very you're like yeah, one of the funniest comics so in the hard. scene. Do you really? Yeah. Are you writing all the time? No, I don't know how to oh, write. I say I'm you know, I swear to God this is true and it sucks. Every single joke I have on stage, I said to someone in real life, they laughed, and I go, Oh, I should try that on stage. I don't know how to write other than just talking and remembering stuff I said. Oh, I can't remember shit I say. Me neither. I I have notes on my phone and I try to record it right after I say it. Like I'll I just don't know. If I knew how to sit down and write comedy, it'd be game over for you hoes. Oh, my God. You don't do that either. I do what he does. It's, yeah, uh, that's the only way. It's just being a funny guy is why I, I'm a comedian. I don't. I don't. I can never sit down and write a joke. I, like, I'll pace and I'll say things out loud and I'll, that's how I write or whatever. But, like, no, there's no, you'll never catch me, like, in a notebook, like, okay, how am I going to start this joke off? How <laughs> like, do you do I, that? I, I right? never, what, what is that I even? Li- what is the process? Like, what's funny? What's funny? <laughs> no, and, but I can, if I'm in a what conversation. What type of twisted point of view could I give to the world but I have no, some I write where... everything I, I just like I just sit there and write and if something I'll on overwrite. there makes me laugh out loud then I'll go like oh that's funny in this small chamber mm-hmm. that shouldn't be I shouldn't be laughing out loud I'll bring that I have comedy people where you like you talk to them and like, I, have a, I have a couple of friends where you're on the phone with them and you're riffing so hard about certain things that you'll just be like, I'm literally doing a joke right now that I'm making you know, that's so good that you're like, I'll just do this on stage. Like, it's just easier. The last joke I wrote, my buddy from Sacramento calls me and he says, do you have any new jokes? And I thought, oh, you know, and I just tried out like the last thing I had thought of earlier that day. And now it's like a joke I use about how gynecologists are gross. Just because I was on yeah. the phone with my boy and I was like, I should remember what I really Was about he like, I'm sorry that I let that guy, that I asked you to put him up? What was that? The guy who told Xander, he called you, said, hey, put up Xander. Do you know what's Did he crazy? say sorry? Who is he? So I don't want to say his name. He's, he's really successful. Yeah, he's pretty successful. Will we know who he is if yeah, you said his would. name? Or will we tell us afterwards? I absolutely. Yeah. I saw. And I have a guess, and I think I know who it is. So do you know who Christine Levine is? No. Yeah. And she's a Portland comic. Uh, she's been on. Well, uh, she's like a good Portland friend of mine. <laughs> and she's friends with Doug Benson. She's like a uh, she's like a successful working comic, and yeah. she really impressed me in 2014. I thought she was like the most famous person in the world. Um, I saw a post by her because she was like, fuck Sander, that's so lame. She reached out to me and was like, yo, I know that dude. I can't believe this happened. I believe exactly what happened to you. I was like, oh, so sick. She had made a post about it, and I saw this comedian comment and say, I, you know what? I actually recommended that guy to JT. I feel so bad. But he never said he's sorry to me. And there was a time where I would have wa- really wanted a sorry, and if this podcast was five years ago, I'd probably have been like, this guy never said sorry. Yeah. But this is 10 years ago. Guys. Yeah. Like, it, it's been a decade since I got curb stomped. Sure, I still have. It doesn't nightmares. even hurt anymore. <laughs> like, it doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't hurt anymore. No. Damn. I still have. Now you, really is that bad why you learned jujitsu? Yeah, no, I do jujitsu because I grew up getting molested, and so like obviously I want to train and go grew beat up, up the guy that molested me. But yeah, when you're molested, you're growing up. Yeah, you're just a little well, kid. One most person. Of the time. Sorry, what? it just sounds like an ongoing process. It wasn't like a cabal. <laughs> I wasn't like passed around a sheik's yacht. I just had a really bad babysitter. <laughs> a girl? Yeah. I, oh, no, a man. You said I wish is what you were about to oh, say. Wow. It, comparatively, yeah. I'm not glad guys get molested by women, but if yeah. you had to say gun to my head, JT, would you rather have to suck your babysitter's dick or eat her pussy? I'd they be like, oh, su- I'll take the pussy. That's so fucked up. Yeah, no, I'm fine now. 
I'm fine now because yeah. when I I train, so one day I'll be able to go and kill him. Can I? That's great. Can I ask an off topic? Uh huh. How old were you when you got curb stomped? Twenty. So do you think did you ever do anything gay before the curb stomping? Did I ever do anything gay before the curb stomping? Maybe you were normal, and then the curb stomping made Shit you made me gayer. Yeah, he like Maybe. fucked up your brain, scrambled you all around. You like guys suck your dick. Honestly, one of the first times I got drunk, I let a dude fool around with me. I let him play up on my dick and stuff like that. It was at a like a gay. I used to have a fake ID where I'd go into gay bars at like eighteen, nineteen, and or any bar really. But I just happened to be at a gay bar in the story I'm telling, and uh, I let a guy touch my dick, and I was like, "Oh, getting my dick touched made me horny." But then he kissed me, and I was like, "Oh, <laughs> this is a dude." I was like, "No, oh, dude, just kiss me. Get back to touching my penis over my jeans. I'm eighteen. That's hot to me, you know." Wait, so wait, and this is like not comedy, but. Do you think that you hooked up with guys because you were molested? You're like by a man. You're like reclaiming your power by letting them suck your dick, and it's your choice now. Damn, maybe, maybe like some deep down ass shit. But to be honest, like I don't have a desire to get my dick sucked by dudes. I've no, only I had past. a desire to get my dick sucked by anyone. It's just a <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm poor, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and like. There is a level of like, oh, an ugly dude or a hotter dude, sure. Yeah. I wouldn't let some like super ugly dude suck my dick if I was super drunk. But yeah. Like, a better looking, clean dude. I bet, yeah, dude, you could get over here and suck it. Why not? <laughs> That's so, so uh -huh. funny. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. And I think it's it's good. Um, do you guys, do we want to do our, our last two segments? Yeah, you want to do our last two segments? Yeah, what are they? Uh, the first one is do you have any questions for us? Do I have any questions for you guys? Neither of you guys were molested? Uh, yeah, but I was older. How but, old were you when you were molested? Um, one, uh, when I was nine, 20, when I was 20, a girl raped me. That's rape, and I'm sorry that happened. Yeah. Right? And then um, when I was... We're gatekeeping getting 20, molested right now. We made eyes like... 22, I had a boss that um, uh, tried to... Uh, but it was very much not. And then his husband also would like have me cut his hair and then try to kiss me and like get up on me. And he mm. was 70 years old and it was like for sure not mutual. Wow. My babysitters took weird naked pictures of me um, and that I don't remember any of this. But my parents said that it's one of the worst things they'd ever seen in their entire life. Uh, and then I don't remember a lot, but I have whatever. Like with them lasted do I remember 100%? Could I gun to my head and say, who molested me? No. Was it in the words of my dad when I asked him, Dad, do you think I was molested? He said, something fucking happened. <laughs> when I was getting molested, the guy that was molesting me, because it happened for years, right? Ugh. He would tell me, if you tell anyone, you're going to get in trouble. And I believed it, right? Because yeah. I was a kid. And then years later, when I'm like 17 or 18, I am volunteering at a camp for developmentally disabled adults. And then the guy that molested me applies to be a camp counselor. My brother knew the story. And so he goes to the church and he goes, hey, this guy molested my little brother. He shouldn't be on staff here. And so the pastor of that church says, we should just let both of them go to make this easier. So, so he, he fired right. you too. Yeah. I got, I told, and I got and in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit. You, you, you were right. <laughs> yeah. What? Isn't that crazy? Damn. Yeah. That is crazy. Crazy question too. I guess the last question we have. Is if you were a gay man, would you rather have sex with me or Colton? Oh, I couldn't choose. I'd stack you guys up next to each other. No, and we don't do that. No. It's or and we, it, he only bottoms, I only top. We oh. both love oral. Colton, love you that. like getting your fucking back railed? But by I a would woman. rather if I if it was if I if, but gun to my head, have sex with the dude. Colton. I think I'll do the stick and thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good I trust you. my wife, dude. Some dude back there, dude. I know men. I know, dude. I know Whoa. what I've done back there. There's no way I'd let some dude back there. No what have way. you done what back there? What have I done back there, dude? You ever just grab the hips and rail? You know yeah. what I mean. You ever do that thing where you lean your body back to get the angle right and just slam with the full strength of your body weight? <laughs> if a dude did that to me, it would ruin my day. <laughs> it would ruin my day. So your your wife isn't touching your hips. Oh, no, she is, but I trust her. <laughs> oh, okay. no, she gets her grips in, dude. She yeah. knows what she's doing. You said you would if she you would pretend but to be man. small if it fucked, if she could fuck you yeah, harder. but she's little. 
she's little. So she, 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 her hard fucking would do nothing compared to guys like us. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude? We're, we're men, dude. There ain't no way we ain't fucking way harder than my wife. <laughs> if you don't fuck as hard as my wife, that's like the gayest thing about you, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> And by that I mean weak. <laughs> and by gay, I mean weak. weak. And by gay, <laughs> you mean that is so, I can't imagine that. My wife fucks me way harder. It would be the craziest thing to hear. Yeah, could you imagine, man? <laughs> That's a very businessman thing to say. Uh, well, we're all do, you any, do you have anything coming up? I don't think so. Great. Hope not. The mini special. Oh, uh, the mini special is getting released. Yes. Yeah, I was, we already, I was about to say, <laughs> we already taped that, buddy. <laughs> but yeah, I have, a, I have a mini special coming out the same day that you do, dude. When is that? Well, it's going to be staggered. Oh. So probably when this comes out, it'll be like right around the same time yours comes out. Right around the same time that this comes out. So check online. Check my socials. I'm at Instagram, God's Favorite Comedian. I'm on TikTok, Bad Boy LLC. Mm -hmm. I'm on Twitter, JT Smelly. You Great know? names. Follow Thank JT. You. He's fucking hilarious. I used to be eating booty, taking names. I don't like that one. But then I turned 30, and it's like, it's funny in your 20s. Yeah. In your 30s, it's like that, okay, dude, you're not going to be trusted around a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I am filming a special February 23rd at the Creek in the Cave. It's going to be, yeah, we're doing it. Assigned the label again. They picked it back up. It's a two album deal, and it'll Did be they pick it back up because the podcast is doing so well? No, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that'll be in Austin if you guys want to come out to that. Otherwise, uh, there's other stuff for sure. Follow us. Please like and subscribe. Write a fucking review. Write a fucking review. Write a review. Bye. <laughs>